So I'm chilling down here at uh, Nobu in Malibu waiting for my clients. Um, I got myself the local Malibu Times and then I see, oh my God, there's like a crash right where I am right now. And that's just right in front of Nobu. And what happened here, pretty sad. Um, black SUV pulls out and a car flying down PCH Pacific Coast Highway. If you've ever been on it, quite a dangerous road straight into the SUV. Um, driver died, the rideshare driver died. Um, very sad. Uh, the rider, the passengers were young, they survived. Um, and then I'm also, you know, I go through the daily news. Uh, thank you, by the way, to everyone who um, joined me last night for the live feed at the SoFi. Rolling Stones at a really good time. Um, right at the end, as I, as I'm, I'm walking by and I wish I got this on the camera because I was live, but Leonardo DiCaprio was in the neighboring suite. Next time I'll catch him. We'll be like TMZ. So um, <clears throat> the Uber, uh, the CPUC in California is now demanding that um, Uber drivers get fingerprinted. And and Uber has always been fighting this, right? They They do not want driver fingerprinting because they know how sensitive that can be to drivers and they believe it would uh, um, not encourage drivers to sign up with their system if fingerprinting was demanded. Now how did this whole discussion come about? Um, obviously uh, it, it was a big big problem when Uber introduced Uber Teen for teenagers. Uh, there was a great service out there, still is out there. I've promoted them a lot. They're called Hop, Skip and Drive. They're held at the highest standards, the drivers when it comes to transporting children. Um, I can relate to that because, you know, I drive a lot of kids, groups of kids, four, five, six, seven kids, a lot of my clients' kids to various venues. And, um, you know, as a parent, you, you want to know, hey, the person behind the wheel, is he or she safe? And, and I, get, I get the referrals and recommendations, you know, for, um, from parents with teenagers. And I, I, I kid you not, I drive so many teenagers and we get on super well, right? I got the mints in the car. I got the music going. I give them a lot of freedom. I don't tolerate alcohol or smoking or anything like that. But I got to say, my clients children are great and I enjoy driving them and I, tr I treat them like my kids I keep them safe right communicate with the parents but this whole you know would would if, if, if a private client said to me oh you know what I, I need you to be fingerprinted I'd, I'd say here's here's my fingerprinting my friend ain't happening and um, I can see why drivers don't want to be fingerprinted I can see why uber is really fighting the fingerprinting issue as much as possible um, Truth is, uh, there are a lot of drivers that should not be on the platform, right? There's a lot of people illegal in the country taking away jobs from, you know, registered U.S. citizens. And I don't think, I, I don't think that those individuals want to, want to be fingerprinted. And I also don't think that, you know, Uber with Uber Eats, same goes for DoorDash that they want fingerprinting because they factor in. They're not really fighting this, ladies and gentlemen. They factor in all these fake accounts. These fake accounts are the desperate, desperado of desperado drivers that will drive for any amount. And I think that Uber owning Uber Eats and DoorDash are perfectly fine with that. You know, it's, it's, we, we don't see any um, major battle taking place against fake accounts. And anyone with a fake account you have no idea where they come from what their background is and i'm very sure those individuals do not want to and actually don't have to subject this themselves to fingerprinting because they're operating under someone else's name under someone else's account for peanuts right they're coming from countries where they're not getting paid and and and, and a couple of dollars is a lot of money to them so, but would they want to be fingerprinted? Hell no, because that, that knows, then they know, hey, they're in, the, they're in the system, they're being monitored, and we can quickly determine, you know, are they legal or illegally in the country. So 
I, I think Uber and DoorDash and Lyft uh, turn a blind eye. They look away. No, you know what? These fake accounts, you know, I mean, they're everywhere. Do you think Uber, Lyft and them have made an effort to clean up all these uh, fake accounts on Facebook and Instagram and, and, and say, yeah, definitely, we, we got to do fingerprinting. Hell no. It's the last thing they want is fingerprinting. But it looks like the CPUC is coming down on them, at least here um, in, in, in California. It looks like the Justice Department is demanding that now. When you are transporting teenagers, A, I highly, highly, highly suggest you don't do it because any accusation against you from a 16 or 17 year old potential jail time, it could be a complete fabricated wrong story. My friends, it happens again and again. It sounds a bit crazy, but people are on death row 20, 30 years later. They get uh, off the hook right because they were not the person or the individual that killed someone and evidence showed maybe in one specific case this wasn't your guy and then they released so th the amount of shit that will be made up by teenagers to get a free ride or you know be vindictive or whatever whatever it is or or, or, or some young girl making dumb comments about you um it's 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 dangerous it's it's gonna cost you big time maybe some criminal record maybe even some jail time i would never ever encourage any driver to join uber teen absolutely not and i think that lyft made a very smart move staying out of that arena now hop skip and drive is set up to cater for teenagers you may want to check them out right great company they pay well uh, I think they pay hourly, they, they're fully licensed. Um, I vouch for them big time. You don't see Hop, Skip and Drive appear negatively in the news every week. Why? Because they are so, they vet their drivers so, so carefully. Um, now, interesting that Hop, Skip and Drive says, yeah, Uber should be subjected to those conditions. Uber should have their drivers fingerprinted. I think they're trying to one-up them saying, hey, you know what, it's, it's come over here. It's far safer for your teenager to drive with hop, skip and drive. So a hop, skip and drive taking shots at Uber, I totally understand it. Probably scoring, trying to take away some clients. Um, personally, I don't think drivers will be okay for it. Personally, I think it's going to cost Uber and Lyft a lot of drivers if fingerprinting is mandatory. And, you know, again, I'm going to leave you with this. The sad thing is that all the checkups, all the background checkups, all the criminal background checkups, the discussion of fingerprinting is always about the driver, never about the rider. The biggest scam that Uber ever introduced was, oh, yeah, you know what? We go through a verification process. I mean, I've made videos. You can see them in my channel. The verification process means 0.0%. It doesn't work. It, 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 it doesn't even check individuals against a, a criminal database it's some third-party database that they use uh, if a criminal wants to get on the on, on the platform they will get on the platform they don't have to join that accredited program just to get the little blue asterisk uh, they don't have to upload their pictures etc so riders and, and passengers are always let off the hook it's the driver that they hold the magnifying glass to and I think they're taking it a little step too far here with the fingerprinting. I uh, want to hear your comments. Uh, should drivers be fingerprinted? I mean, let's let's change the shoes, right? Let's switch the shoes. Should, should riders and passengers be fingerprinted? Leave your comments below. And um, if this family could reach out to me, maybe we can get a GoFundMe going. This is local right where I'm here. This street here is right where I'm parked within two three hundred feet of this intersection at Nobu um waiting on a couple of clients again I had I had such an excellent time last night I partied like it was 1999 great food no alcohol obviously it made a long long almost two hour live feed um I think the the most interesting part of that live feed was right at the end right I, I hope that um some drivers learned 
on how I handle. And I mean, you know, we had we had a we had a billionaire um, in that suite. We had someone worth probably three four hundred million dollars. Another guy worth five hundred. These were all heavy heavy hitter clients. And and the message that I was trying to get across is when they want to roll, you roll, right? That's sort of like when I ended the live stream and I was out there quickly. I I tell people, hey, I'm going to get the car ready. I rush out ahead. Um, at, at all these big venues, I always make friends with a supervisor, the highest up at the valet. I always tip the valet driver $20. I tip the manager, the supervisor $20. That's $40 that I fact into, into my costs. But I get the prime, prime service ahead of all the other people. And what, what makes me uh, different to a lot of those drivers, I will pay. I will pay for good service. I want that car out there. I wanted the sprinter out there. I want to get my clients out. To these people, time is money. They do not want to sit around. And at, interesting, at the end of the night, I got two more referrals out of that sprinter. Really liked the way you handled the evening, the way you kept us safe, the way you got us in and out. We've never been in and out of the venue so fast. So these are the little tricks you learn. I teach that to you in the private chauffeur course below. Um, it's all of that knowledge has flown into that private chauffeur course and you know that that's why yesterday was a $900 day right and 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 today was another I think all close on to 800 780 so between two days making $1,680 uh, a lot of drivers are driving around the clock and they're not even making that weekly so I want to teach you that formula the link is below the private chauffeur course and um, if you haven't seen that video go check it out it was 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 super fun S sitting in the so standing in the suite and filming everything but um the reason why i made the video went on a little bit of a tangent here was the fingerprinting 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 yeah that that little sucker there right um the only fingerprint that i have i'll probably turn it that way the only fingerprint i have for Dara koshashawi and david risha is your bullshit verification system doesn't work you're not keeping us safe and fingerprinting, you're right. If you start fingerprinting drivers, uh, yeah, all those illegals will drop out and you won't have those desperados on board and you'll be losing a lot of money. So that's the reason why they don't want to have fingerprinting. But this is my personal fingerprint for Dara, uh, David and uh, Tony Zhu. Have a good one. Be safe out there, my friends.